jade or nephrite is found uh, up on the uh, Fraser Canyon in a number of places, the Bridge River, Lillwood area. And it has this beautiful, smooth, cold touch to it. So this is what it looks like, the, the boulders in, in the river as they are. Now First Nations were taking that material and sawing it through with enormous effort and, and in order to get off these particular blades. So you imagine somebody spending hundreds of hours sawing through and breaking this off. And of course the, one of the questions is, how could they possibly do that? Today we use diamond tip drills for diamond tip, tip saws for cutting through this thing. What could they possibly use in the past? Well, one of the interesting things we found is that one of the saws uh, is this thing here. So you can see how it's, that would be used in there to grind. What is this made of? How, why is this material harder than the others? Inside this, these little black dots, the little kind of a reddish dark dots, and these are actually garnets, and garnets are harder than nephrite. So somebody figured out, wow, this is the raw material that you use for sawing that material off. So it's very rare to find these, these saws because obviously they'll, they'll be used until they're ground down to, to next to nothing. But up in the interior, we um, starting up around the Hope area, we find the waste material from making all of these uh, tools. So here we have pieces of nephrite where they're breaking them apart and they're grinding them. And then we find all the bits and pieces that are kind of waste material left over from uh, making these tools. So we have the evidence of the manufacturing of these things in the interior. You don't find this waste material on the coast here. So these are really uh, an excellent example of a trade item that we traded down to the coast for at least about 2,500 years.